Hi, and welcome to the Frog Pond School of Design, where we enjoy talking about things that appeal to the architect in all of us. Today I want to talk about building safety, especially fire safety. There are a variety of strategies involved in this, and, uh, and, and it's fascinating to see how they, they kind of all work together. Building codes address this in, in a, a variety of ways in terms of building size, materials used, and that sort of thing. But one of their major emphasis is exiting. They make sure that um, it's safe and readily available in terms of getting out of the building, providing the building occupants with a route out of the building that's effective. Most say building safety uh, strategies involve giving you more time to get out of the building. One of these, uh, where technology has kind of stepped in and helped us, is the what we call in the business the automatic fire suppression system, which is probably known to you as sprinklers. These are very effective. Um, there and again, their purpose is to slow the spread of the fire to give the occupants more time to get out of the building. But it's not at all unusual for the firefighters to show up on the scene and find out that the flames have already been extinguished. So again, these sprinkler systems are, are really effective. Now let's look at something really remarkable. If you remember the um, McCormick Place fire in Chicago back in 1967, uh, you recognize that this building was destroyed by a relatively small fire. What happened was a uh, fire in an exhibit, in the exhibit hall, uh, sent up enough heat to <clears throat> weaken the steel, the exposed steel structure, and when that came down, it brought the walls of the building in with it. That's an oversimplification, but uh, that's that's kind of what people envision, <clears throat> excuse me, with that particular uh, uh, fire and, and the loss that it caused. Um, today's answer to that is a product uh, with, in, it's a paint really, with intumescent qualities. Now technically, I looked this up to be sure, uh, the term intumescent simply means a swelling. And <laughs> believe it or not, the dictionary I found used the, uh, the comparison to your sinuses when you have a cold. But in our case, this is a, a painted material that actually expands in the presence of, of extreme heat and protects the, uh, the, the material. You might envision a, a marshmallow when you're making s'mores, only in, in our case, this foaming uh, creates a, a char that is, is quite effectively uh, insulating. And, protects the structure again to give people more time to get out of the building before something collapses. In the case of combustible materials, there's a form of this material that, um, besides insulating, also chokes, you know, seals the, uh, the, the substrate, if it's a combustible substrate like wood, uh, keeping the oxygen out so it can't really uh, become part of the, uh, the the fuel for the fire, and uh, that that part's really effective also. Um, then there's another form of the material, not a paint, but a thicker substance, more like a putty or a caulking. In man many cases, it's installed uh, like a caulking, and this is designed to expand and block an opening, like a uh, into a chase or you know around pipes and <clears throat> and this sort of thing so that the fire can't get to other parts of the building uh, where it's not wanted, either into a chase or to another floor or another part of the building. This is uh, generally called fire stopping. And again, another strategy for containing the fire so that everybody can, can get out more safely. Now, fortunately, I mean, it's great to know these materials are there. Fortunately, even though they're being applied to buildings all over the world every day, the vast majority of them will never experience the kind of heat that's going to cause them to to leap into action but rest assured that they are there waiting perhaps to save your life one day 
Thanks for joining us today at Frog Pond School of Design. I look forward to seeing you hanging around the pond again real soon.